Alrighty, baby, these straw hats are guns a blazing, and Luffy has yet to really do too much to Hordy Jones. I mean, what can he do whenever he's in the water, you know? That being said, Noah is also now on its side. Vanderdecken's dead, so it's gonna fall back down. Things are in peril. I love it. But well, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Boss or I Shinobi. I'm watching more One Piece today, and we are, like I said, at the, the climax of this Fishman Island arc, and I am loving the heck out of it. It's just things are happening so quickly, and I think the entire plot device of of Noah being there as like a sort of nuke dropping to the island is just pure insanity. We're gonna get started. If you knew the channel, drop a fat sub and let's get into it. I don't know why I'm mourning him. Bro was a mess. <laughs> I like the laugh as he says it. Yeah, even if he's able to beat Horty Jones, how do you stop Noah, bro? Like, actually, that is not happening. That and Neptune saying that Noah had to be protected. Yeah. So it's not just a relic. Jamon. Oh, do we get to know? Or is it just teasing it again? Oh! A promise was made to a great... Wait. What? Should this have been kept on the sea for... What? What is the reason? He's like, he's like going around it. Yeah, how do you craft that? I guess he never thought he had to worry about it because it's so enormous. Nobody would ever moved it or anything. Yeah, so even if they need to stop it, he can't can't destroy it like they're not allowed to oh dude when his eyes like turn that that like white he, he's serious that's what i'm saying he can't break it into pieces yeah it has to be protected it's such a it, it's such a, a difficult scenario what somebody's gonna move it you have to bring vanderdecken back to life and have him throw it somewhere else wake him up there is no way he's alive i mean maybe he did just pass out and that nullified his power yeah your only hope is vanderdecken i cannot believe that's what i'm saying now I mean, he created this problem anyways so oh no he's gonna take the hit oh oh dog i just get ace flashbacks every time someone does that now man we just can't do that much oh oh he go pop the bubble Dude, Horty Jones making a mistake going like that close to Luffy. He has such an advantage in the water, it's insane. Wait. Can defend us with the armament. Oh, because it's like so piercing. He left his teeth! Oh my gosh! Yeah, but Horty just went into the ship, no? The bubble. I genuinely think Luffy can clap his uh, his fish cheeks, man. If they're not in the water. Yeah, they were his teeth. I love that so much. Mm -hmm. So he probably won't let him fight there. With a single blow. I genuinely believe that. Horty's very smart for recognizing this and taking care of it very quickly. He has to eliminate any advantage Luffy can have. Fighting on equal ground. Makes him adapt. I like it a lot. This is floating there. Luffy, I, I, I don't think this is the play, man. He keeps using this snake shot, but it, just because he can, like, juke around it doesn't mean anything. He's wasting time even trying to fight in the water. Yes, it was the same exact attack. Just swim away. Dollard? What is that word? That sounds like a slur. It probably is a human slur, to be honest, knowing, knowing Horny Jones. What is he going to do? Dude, he knows he stands no chance against Horty, too, when Horty's all roided up. This is sort of a sacrifice play. Godspeed. Dude, he's terrifying in the water. Oh, oh he smacked him out of the way. Now she's going to hold him. That's what he meant by take care of him. I think he might give his life. Dude, he brave as heck, man. There is no reasoning with him, bro. I don't know if you're trying to burn time, but there's no way. Stupid! She literally died at your hand, dog. Like, it wasn't even to a human. It's so crazy. Tell him yes! It's swelling. Dude, his power is fake as hell, man. Wait, Ultramarine, if he's used that, no? 
he just it swims around it with ease. Oh, no. Nah. He's about to get just obliterated. Is he only battling up the cyber? Bro, he is trying to build his own future without humans. He sees it as a worthy sacrifice. Oh, no. He dies here, bro. Oh, no. When you see that red screen, it's game over. Either that or it'll pull a one piece and he'll have a fatal wound, but the arc will end and he will be uh, standing in the background celebrating with everybody else. I don't know. It's kind of a coin toss at this point. It's falling. Dude, it's falling fast. When it puts it next to the tree like that, you can see how, uh, how fast it actually is falling. It's just so large. It doesn't appear that way from far away. I mean, I got to see the wound, bro. How messed up? That's a lot of blood. Piss poor! Yeah, where did he get the pills? That's what I want to know. Like, are they manufacturing them? He's up! Let's oh, go, baby! He ain't getting one shot! Dude! Dude! And now you attack your own. Mm -hmm. It is so hypocritical, man. Again, I see he sees it as a worthy sacrifice, though. I want him to get a fat hit in. What's he grabbing? Is he grabbing water? Oh! a boy! Beat his ass! Did humans beat you? No, he just saw all that growing up, especially Fisher Tiger. Why is he just staring at him? What answer does he want? What? What? What just happened? Did he die? Did he say something? What was that? What was that? Uh, what the f was that? <laughs> no one else heard though. He said something. Oh, bro, he got the red screen twice. That is a bad sign. That is a terrible sign. Did he say like your mom? I mean, that would kind of make sense, no? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just confused. Bro, lost to a your mama joke? What the? Who's got a transponder now? The air tank? The air tank? Getting ready his plan for what? Oh, this is when they strategized. When they disappeared for a bit. Oh, they went, wait. They went all the way to the main entrance? Oh my gosh. So they literally create bubbles of air here at that station. Yeah, but he prepared in case Horty got rid of the air on the deck. Wait, so are they just gonna launch a giant bubble? Oh, okay. I, that is, I, I didn't know they were just like, actually strategizing. They straight up went all the way to the main entrance. Oh, swam fast. They just launch air? The air conditioning facility. That's kind of cool. I guess it makes sense that they would have something like this in case any emergencies happen where the air was lost. Oh, shoot. They can protect it. It'll just slow it down. Dude, if Vanderdecken's dead, it is GG. They have to destroy Noah or try to destroy Noah if he's dead. You got one shot. So what is Luffy supposed to do? This is what I thought he would do the entire- Oh! What did he do? Just launched him? Yes! Oh, damn! Bro, he snapped it just like Arlong, Arlong's blade. Oh my gosh. Dude, he has to OD. He has to. Bro's taking hundreds. Is he gonna go bigger? Oh my God, he is. He's a unit. Oh, I love that. Like the red shaking outline. Oh my gosh. Yo, he looked mean. I love that. Luffy launching him to punching him so fast. Just the armament hockey is just so sick looking. So what did he say to Vugaboshi? Get lost. <laughs> I mean, realistically, couldn't have been hockey? Maybe? I don't know. He seemed more shocked than anything. Oh, wait, what? He made it to the station? Oh, no, he just has another snail. Oh, he can say what he told him. No, there's more to his plan. Oh, he's really... What? What does that mean? Dude, he is large now. Oh, he really... Okay, so it's not like hockey or anything. He just... I don't know. Uh, 563. I guess we'll go find out. Tokiwa. Uh, oh, that's so pretty. Oh, we're just getting like... Oh, wait. He's enormous compared to everyone else. 
Oh yeah, we're just getting time, I think, more with the, the Straw Hats fighting them. It's inevitable. I still gotta see the Zoro, the Zoro the fight against the Squid Man. That's what I've wanted. I love that Jinbei's here, man. He really was like the, just the breakout star Marine forward. I, I, uh, he grew on me so fast. Mega Monk? I mean, Bro could realistically just eat everybody. What the hell was that? What are you, Gum Gum Balloon? How does he just expand? He copied Luffy for real. Yeah, what does that change? Uh, tiger Blowfish. What? Oh my gosh, man. This state literally weakens him. Jesus! He's blowing up! <laughs> Sanji's pushing him. He's testing his ego. I think he wants him to be so weak he can't even control anything. He'll just blow up. Brother! <laughs> oh my god. The chaos down below. Jinbei. I think Jinbei should be up there hoping against Horty, honestly. With how strong he is, man. And he's a fish man. I don't know. He should definitely be up there. I understand fighting down here is important, but maybe they just didn't want to take take like the spotlight away from Luffy. Yes! Get in there! Finally! Look at him like float down, swim down. Yeah, well, I mean, not ashamed. You you just had the wrong info. I didn't blame them for not trusting pirates, especially human pirates. Dude, speaking of which, where's Goo Man? What's his name? Caribou? Where the hell is he? Bro caused so much chaos and this disappeared. Jeez, man. This is the scene the cowboy reminded me of him. Oh, she's on it, baby. They're, no, it's literally them copying Celestial Dragons. These innocents, man. Oh, Robin's smile. Robin and Jimmy kind of give me some more energy. He's like very reserved, but very strong people. Now, what happens as soon as they're unlocked, though? As soon as they're freed? Why, yes. Bro, I feel like Robin could roll this guy. Wait, they're all gonna turn on him. <laughs> she's talking about Jimbei. Jimbei is a handsome man. Wait, he's going, he's going to trap her? Oh, wait, he did. Such a weak laugh, man. Uh, what? Oh my god! Did she just move her entire body? That is busted. She can put her not just body parts out, her entire body through something. Robin's power spike is crazy. She's Shadow Clone! Oh my gosh! Let's go, Robin! That is like so situational. The things that she could do with that is crazy. Okay, can we find out this thing about Horty now, please? Dude, the alarms, the sirens, gotta evacuate. Frankie, I can't get over that, man. All the Straw Hats thoroughly impressing me, though, with how much they've learned. It makes me happy. Getting a little teases here and there. They're slowly showing us more and more. Dude, that'd be terrifying, man. Just seeing that slowly falling down. My goodness, can you imagine? It gives me such vibes, again, of Skypea. I see so many parallels with Skypea, of the people trying to uh, evacuate. I feel like the parallels make sense. It's like so, the, the highest of high and the lowest of low on, on Earth. Oh, true. They, they would think about Shirahoshi, assuming it would have gotten to her. Why, why would it stop going after her? They're going to stay and fight. Dang, bro. Even the kids. Let's go. Mm-hmm. BayZ. They've gotten the people's side. This is this is the most important aspect of this, is being on the side of the people and them knowing that you're on their side. Yeah, they're free to. You're just warning them about the dangers and the consequences. Let's go! Get in there, baby! What? Wait, why is he communicating through that? Oh, wait, this is their conversation. Oh! Yeah, wait, why would he broadcast this? Now everybody's in the loop. 
<laughs> I see now while we went back in time and here now everybody knows what the plan is. That's good. Interesting way to do it, but it works. Aww. Chopper's just gotten so much cuter. It's, it, it's, it's impressive how he has. The serial kidnap. Now every, they're getting on even more people's side. They can't see the war. Hmm, interesting how he is, isn't it? Wait! Oh, but they're all gonna hear what he's saying to him about Horty. Then whatever the importance is, it matters even more that everybody hears this. So who is he? I literally have no idea. Who could he possibly be? What? It, yeah. It, what? A group of monsters appeared from an ancient grudge? What? Yeah. I, we kind of knew that, right? Wait, what? Born from the end. Here the grudge will be forgotten? Wait, what? Yeah, I kind of figured that, though. So he's saying he, that Horty's lying about his true path, too? Like, he doesn't even want Fishman to succeed, either? I'm so lost. I was I was waiting for some crazy reveal. It wasn't what humans did to him. It was what humans did to his ancestors. And vice versa. Nothing. Oh, my God. That's what he's... Oh, my God. Bro is a true villain. He believes he was destined to do this. Oh, my God. It makes it easier to cheer against them for sure. Nothing. Nothing. He would always end up like this. And he truly always believed that. Oh my goodness. He's actually pure evil. I almost don't even know if I like that or not. Like, not, he wasn't even he wasn't even born by his environment. It's literally just, he's, he's evil. And like I said, now it's easier to cheer against him. Before, I was like, dang, bro, it sucks that it has to go this way. And the hatred he has for humans, considering the life experience he had. But that's why Fisher Tiger was never able to change anything about Horty. Horty was always dead set on this path about humans evil. That's it. End of story. Bada bing, bada boom. And now we know why he was never his he was never altered or anything because he didn't care to be he, he wasn't interested in his mind being changed and i'm gonna have to sit on that one for a bit because again i don't know if i like that more or less than him being a a product of his environment his upbringing i feel like both sides of, of this sort of position have their pros and cons and i feel like a lot of people will like that they did that and a lot of people won't it's interesting for sure and it changes dynamic and makes you think more and i think that's what I like most about it is I was under the impression solely because of the story we saw and now it's taken it and sort of flipped it on its head which is cool but man we are getting into the thick of it I mean they literally said this episode and I'm glad they said it how they can't destroy it and I was waiting for them to kind of make that point because if he's able to get past Horty Jones what does he do he's literally going to have to destroy it inherently there's I don't see how you can just push it out of the way or something, man. As strong as Luffy's gotten, as strong as all the Straw Hats have gotten, I don't see that being possible. Because that's been it for my reaction today. I hope you did enjoy. Drop a fat like on this one if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace, peace.